Africa is home to a variety of large and impressive animals, many of which are, unfortunately, in danger. So, thousands of people from around the world come to Africa every year to go on a safari and see these animals up close. Now, we're at a camp ready for our safari. In fact, in one of the local languages, Swahili, safari means journey. You know, in the morning, animals are more active and it's not very hot yet. So it's the best time for wildlife watching. I'm sure you can't wait, so let's go. First, we meet the giraffe, the tallest animal on Earth. Giraffes eat plants and only drink water once every few days as they get most of their water from the leaves they eat. Also, they only need 5 to 30 minutes of sleep a day. And guess what? They can even sleep while they're standing up. Now, let's get closer to the African elephant, the largest land animal in the world. Elephants spend 12 to 18 hours a day eating grass, plants and fruit. These clever animals remember every member of their family and they can also recognize themselves in a mirror. Wow! That was close! At our next stop, we're going to see the king of the jungle, the lion. Lions have big families and they live in groups. They usually spend about 20 hours a day sleeping. but they become more active at night when they hunt other animals to eat.
Here is the second largest land mammal after the elephant, the African white rhino. Actually, white rhinos aren't white, they're grey. They mainly eat grass and they love lying in mud, which is a great sunscreen. White rhinos have two horns on their nose. These are very useful when they need to protect their family or fight other animals. When the safari tour is over, you can go back to the camp and take a nap, read a book, or gather around the fire and share stories with other travellers. This tour was a great adventure, wasn't it? <laughs>